hello all welcome you to the another session on haskell in this short video we are going to discuss about type classes in haskell let's log in into the interpreted mode of haskell programming ghci now uh, type class when you hear a word type class there is a term called as class and you may think this class as in a class in op or a class in java for example if you type let's say uh, there is a variable i is equal to 2 then one may think that this i variable is of type number so if you check the type then it says it's a number then one may think that okay type class means uh, num is a class and we are creating a variable i which is object of type num and then we are storing a variable inside it the story in haskell is a bit different this type class num is not exactly a class instead it like uh, we can refer it as a interface of java or interface which defines rules and regulation that what can be done and what cannot be done the rest of the things are uh, depending on the underlying object which is going to implement or underlying method or underlying function who is going to implement that so for example uh, let's say if i compare 1 equal to 1 then it says true and if you say 1 greater than or equal to 1 again the result is true but if you if we let's find out the type of these two operations let me use colon colon t and then say assignment operator okay i have to pass the operation to check the type i have to pass the function so this as a uh, comparison is a function so better let me pass it inside a rounding bracket so colon t that is a type check for function for comparison now here there is output now here this left hand side of the arrow operator what it means is the there is a equality checking going on you are checking something for equality and this function is taking two arguments we have discussed this in the last video also about type checking of a function so same thing is here this equality operation has two arguments or two parameters a a now I am sure that you are able to recall from the last video that a is a type variable I may not repeat I should not repeat rather that what is the meaning of a type variable please go and check that video if you do not understand what is a type variable so equality function has two arguments or of type variable and its return type is boolean so see the return type value is a boolean value and it says that i am taking two type variables as argument and i am returning boolean but the type class for this comparison or equality checking is eq which is a type class in haskell now let's find out what is the type class of similarly for greater than or equal to now here type class not is equal see for comparison pure comparison it was equality type class now here there is something ORD this ORD stands for ordering so this ordering type class can be applied to the things which can be ordered for example we can order the numbers from 1 to 10 so this if you are comparing this with the ordering like greater than or equal to less than or equal to less than greater than where we can find out the order then the type class will be order otherwise you can have type class which is equal for the comparison where the return type is again boolean see for the equality as well as for the ordering both type classes or both functions are returning boolean value but their type class is different one is ordering type class and one is equality type class the same story follows for the data type or the variables that we can use for example let me create i is equal to haskell and now let's check this type of this i so here you can see it is a type class character array so this i has a type class of character array now we can do it for almost everything like say i1 is equal to 1 then colon t i1 so here my type class is numerical then you can check colon t type class directly for some value 3.3 so its type class is fractional 
So this is how you can check the type classes in Haskell while right, developing the functions. Again while closing I want to repeat my remark that don't treat this type class as a class in C++ or a Java because it just have a class keyword or class word in, in, in its name. Rather treat this type class as an interface just which just gives a brief idea of what is expected from this particular type. And the whole operation has to be provided by the particular underlying function or underlying facility which implements that interface. I hope you got the concept of what is the meaning of type class and you will be able to check out the type class of uh, functions, variables or other things that you want to use in Haskell. Just you have to use colon t and give the thing that you want to check with the type class. Let's see you in the next video with more on functions. Thank you.